In this lesson, we're going to install a version of WordPress to work with for this class. You'll actually end up with more than one WordPress installations. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to log into cPanel. And this cPanel is at mccdgm.net, and you can just go to forward slash cPanel, which will redirect it here to 2082, and you can put in the username that you were assigned. And then you can also put in the initial password that you were assigned. Now if you've had your account for a while, or if you wish to change from the default password, and I didn't force you to automatically, you can change your password at any time by choosing the Change Password option in Account Man Management. It's very easy to install WordPress. We're using InMotion Hosting, and it has scripts for installing a lot of the most commonly used applications. We're going to install WordPress. This version that I'm using is 3.9.1, but if you're at a higher version, don't worry about it. It, it changes, but not so significantly that you, shouldn't have to, that you should have any problems working along. I'm going to select Install, and I'm going to have it create a directory that I'm going to call Practice. I'm leaving the word, the database name WP138, and the table prefix alone to their default. I'm not going to worry about my site name or description. We could install a multi-site installation. We're not going to do that at this point, but we will probably do that on a future one. I'm going to create an administrator username and password, which I will change later when you're not watching. I will put in an email to myself and I will email the installation details to myself as well. And that should be all it takes to install WordPress. Since I've been tried this earlier today and it didn't like my first installation, it's showing me that practice already exists. So I can call this practice2 and hit install. You shouldn't run into that problem. It will give you a link that you can go to to see your installation. And your login should be the one that you created. I strongly recommend that you add a second account right away under users. And you can give yourself a second administrator account Hopefully you have more than one email address. I have several. It doesn't like that one, so we'll give it a little bit stronger one. Okay, so you want to use a combination of characters, uppercase, lowercase, and numbers and symbols. You can choose to send the new password to yourself by email, and you can change your role. 
I'm going to make this as an administrator. This way, if I accidentally lock myself out, I have a second option. Otherwise, if you lock yourself out, you're not going to have any way to get into your site. So that's the basic first steps you'll want for getting your site set up and giving yourself a backup administrative account.